A wise guru once said, give a man tech news and he'll know the news for that day. Teach a man to tech news and he'll know how to tech news every day. I don't think Riley quite got the essence of that proverb. Google has released another developer preview for Android N, its fourth so far. The preview contains the final APIs and SDK for the new version so developers can put the finishing touches on Android N support for their apps. The preview also contains an easter egg that will make the internet happy. Go to the about phone section and hit the Android version section multiple times and the Android N logo will pop up with namey McNameface written on it. All of us up here in Canada were rooting for Nanaimo Bar, but I'm fine if Google goes with that too. Crunchyroll's parent company, Elation, is expanding its streaming empire. It's launching a new service called VRV that will feature content from prominent geek culture content producers like Nerdist, Geek and Sundry, Rooster Teeth, and of course, Crunchyroll. In addition to those partners' regular content, VRV will also have content exclusive to the platform. If you're down with ads, it will be available for free, but there will of course be paid ad-free versions available when the service launches in the US this fall. Looks like all those rumors about keyboard and mouse support on the Xbox One are coming to fruition. Xbox head Phil Spencer told PC Games N that Xbox dev kits currently have keyboard support, which makes sense, but mouse support isn't here yet. However, according to Spencer, it's not years away, it's more like months away. But they don't have an exact date for the feature's release. No doubt mouse support has been pushed forward by Microsoft's Play Anywhere initiative, which lets gamers buy the same game once on both console and PC. Finally, console players will see the light. It will be scary at first, but it's for the best. It's time for Snippy Snippets. The city of Amman, Idaho has built an open access network that lets customers switch between different internet service providers in seconds using an online service. Amman ain't got no time for monopolies. Plume is an innovative Wi-Fi router that actually consists of $49 pods that plug into your power outlets throughout your home in order to distribute Wi-Fi evenly. Now, they just need to add air fresheners to the feature list and it's the perfect product. Nintendo has announced Pokemon Go will be released sometime in July, both on iOS and Android phones. And if you're a real hardcore fan, you can buy the $35 tag that lets everyone know how nerdy you are. LG has expanded their line of X phones that specialize in a specific area. The X Power has crazy battery life, the X Mach has super fast speeds, and the X Max has a big ol' screen. And the X Style looks really fancy. And Futuremark has released a stress test as a part of their 3D Mark software, which will let users test frame rate stability, GPU and CPU temperatures, and CPU frequency. New sources for all of today's stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. Yo dog, we heard you like yo dogs, so we put yo dog inside your yo dog. <laughs> thanks, Johan, 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 for your submission, and thanks everyone that tweeted me their callouts. If you want to be featured here, make sure you tweet us. This week is NCIX's Father's Day sale event. The Canadian deals an ASUS 13.3 inch laptop for $540. That's a savings of $330. The US deal is a HyperX Cloud 2 headset for $80. That's a savings of $50. Click here for the Canadian deal and click here for the US deal and click down below for the rest of this week's savings. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Click over here to watch more videos. Follow us on Twitter over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIS. Riley wrote, Julia, come up with an outro. Outro, 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 ending. Is it working? Yeah.